Cameo Magic presents whiteboard explanations. This video will explain model-based systems engineering, why it is important, its purpose, and the vision. To explain MBSE, it's easiest to break down the term by splitting it up into two parts, model-based and systems engineering. Now for the first half of the acronym, model-based. The alternative to a model-based approach is a document-based approach where all of the data is written in a document rather than saved within computer models. There are several advantages to a model-based approach over a document-based approach, which include enhanced clarity and visualization, consistency and synchronization, ease of updates, automation and analysis ability, ease of collaboration, and enhanced evolution of systems. Note, there are some drawbacks to a model-based approach due to the added complexities, but the benefits will outweigh the drawbacks as a system's complexity increases. Now for the second half of the acronym, Systems Engineering. Pause the video to review the definition below. Systems engineering is a discipline of engineering like mechanical, electrical, or software. All disciplines problem solve but each have their own specialty. Systems engineering specialty is facilitating communication between the other engineering disciplines to identify gaps, risks, and opportunities earlier in the system design. Take a look at the chart to see how systems engineers' skill sets fit in with the other disciplines' strengths. We can see that mechanical, electrical, and software each have significant depth and knowledge in their field but less knowledge about the bigger picture. Management has expertise in planning but lacks technical depth. Systems engineers have the greatest breadth, or span, of knowledge for the system of interest. They gain their technical depth from the domain subject matter experts and management expertise from the project planning managers. Systems engineering can be seen as the middleman between the engineering domain experts and managers. Systems engineers account for the entire system development lifecycle, cradle to grave of a product. MBSE is the science and art of using models to express architecture and design relationships of the system of interest. Model-based systems engineers capture the linkages internally and externally to the system of interest. This often includes specifying the system boundary in detail and determining the items and signals which flow over the system boundary. Model elements are the fundamental building blocks in a model. These elements can be units of structure, behavior, or requirement. Relationships connect elements within a model. A relationship is a linkage between two types of elements. The web of interconnected elements through relationships creates the detailed system model. There is an important distinction between the system model and the diagrams. Let's use a 3D physical diamond as an analogy which represents our model. Engineers would take the three-dimensional diamond and then take snapshots from different angles of the diamond. The data from the snapshots, or perspectives, would be rendered in two dimensions on a diagram. The sum of the diagrams would give the engineer the information needed to cut the diamond to spec. Unlike the diamond, the system model is more than three dimensions. Therefore, we cannot actually see the model. We can only view the diagrams. The aggregation of the diagrams will allow the engineers to understand the highly complex multidimensional model. Model-based systems engineers must create diagrams with a distinct purpose. For this example, functional, logical, behavioral, and requirement views are shown. The diagram purpose is self-explanatory. Diagrams should have an intended audience or set of stakeholders. The diagram scope can be very detailed or very abstract. Model-based systems engineers must create structures which are both modular and reusable to enable model expansion and maintainability of the model. It is important that practitioners select a common methodology, language, and tool. Some examples of MBSE tools include Cameo Enterprise Architecture, Cameo Systems Modeler, MagicDraw, Rhapsody, Sparks Enterprise Architect, Capella, Genesis, Papyrus, and Visual Paradigm. Each of the softwares just listed support systems modeling language or SysML. SysML is considered the most commonly used systems engineering language. It is an extension of Unified Modeling Language, or UML. There are several methodologies to note including Magic Grid, OOSEM, SysMod, and Harmony. A homegrown methodology is also acceptable. Let's look at systems modeling language in more detail. SysML has structural, behavioral, and requirement diagram types. There are a total of nine different types of SysML diagrams. Each diagram has a special and unique use. To learn more about the SysML diagrams, please check out our mini walkthrough videos on our channel. Now let's mention the digital thread. Because systems engineers are responsible for the centralization and standardization of information, they are responsible for extending the digital thread. The digital thread is the connection and exchange of data between software tools of different disciplines. This digital thread is hosted in a digital engineering environment, also called a digital engineering ecosystem. As a review, you can pause the video and take a look at some of the notes we prepared. Please consider watching our other videos on similar topics which includes Digital Transformation, Digital Engineering, Digital Engineering Environment, SysML, and Digital Thread. Check the description below for links to the other videos. Thanks for tuning in and we hope you enjoyed the content.